we simply ask the question, who does Allah pray to? But uh, let me just take this call. Hello. Hi, Hatun. Hi. Just, okay. Hi. Okay. Just a moment. Uh, I just need to check if I lost Rashid. Rashid, are you uh, here? Okay. Both. Um, yeah, that's what I try to do. I think I. Oh, Rashid, recording the call. Um. Okay. Um, brother, I am. Um. I don't know what happened to the Muslim uh, speaker, but what I'm going to propose is um, I couldn't get hold on you through YouTube hang, um, Hangout. So we are looking at the Quranic verse, Surah 33, verse 56. And can you just, as you are Arabic speaker, can you just tell us the definition of this word? Um, and then I'm going to try to make you join to the room through YouTube because it looks like I hang up on Rashid. Which which surah that was? And Su which, uh... Surah 33 verse 56. We are looking at the word Yataluna. Yes. So what is that word means? Anna Allah wa malaikatu yusalluna ala nabi. Yeah. That means uh, Allah and the angels pray on Muhammad on on the prophet okay are you sure the word is pray yes you saw luna okay. salli, i pray Nahnu nusalli. they hunna, you saw luna ala nabi. so it's still the verb is pray you cannot mm -hmm. tap, tap dance around uh, the words pray means pray it's not does not mean okay. um, bless but... because if it was bless it should have said so Yubaruku, which means comes from uh, Baraka. Baraka, the noun, and Yubariku is the verb. Yeah. So um, Allah doesn't say that. Allah says He prays. Yes. Okay. And 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 the most disturbing part is that not only Allah but also the angels, angels. pray. <laughs> Yeah, you can, you can, in a sense, I'm very generous. I like angels are praying to Allah for Muhammad. But the part I was looking at, as you are Arabic speaker, and our Muslim speaker is not expert, um, Arabic is not his expertise as a like kind of as a language expert. Therefore, we wanted to check with you. I'm gonna find ways to ask you to come to the Google Hangouts. But yeah. um, for now, I am gonna hang up on you which taking that as a confirmation that you told us Arabic word means is um, prayer. Yes, just let me let me repeat that that part again. Yes, if please. you say I pray, you say Ana Asalli. They pray. Nahnu yusalluna. Nahnu, we, we pray. Nahnu nusalli. So it's still praying. You cannot uh, tap dance around uh, uh, this problem. Still Allah is praying, but the question is, to who is Allah praying to when he prays, right? That was the Muslim, but Rashid. I'm gonna hang up on you because it looks well, like I just like Rashid hang up on Rashid. Said. Which oh, is I'm very rude, okay? Just okay. Hold. I need to Sorry find about that. Thank you, brother. Uh, keep, keep doing the, the holy work. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Hatun, uh, I just joined in. Can you hear me? Oh, um, yes. Hi, Rob Christian. Um, Rashid. We, um, so, because um, we have someone on the panel, he's Arabic speaker, but when he called in, in somehow, I just didn't know how to have two of you on the Skype. When he called you, kind of, I had to hang up on you. So Rob Christian is here, he's Arabic speaker. I'm going to pass it to him again, to just mm. repeat to us, what yeah. does Surah 33 verse 56 mm. tells us, within Arabic sounds, Arabic context. Rob okay. Christian? Yeah, God bless again. Um, I, uh, do okay. you hear me, Rashid? Rashid, do you hear me? Yeah. Okay. No, one, sec one second, sir. Let me, uh, let me ask you, uh, what, what's, your, what's your name? Rob Christian. Okay, nice, nice meeting you, nice meeting you. Um, before, before you go into your, your definition or what you were getting ready to, what I, what I had missed before, um, can you, as an Arabic speaker, can you give me the definition of what the, the name Muhammad means? 
The praised one. Thank you very much. Okay, I, I appreciate your answer. Now, um, uh, please uh, go ahead, continue what you what you were getting ready to say. Okay, according to to the chapter, it says Allah wal Malaika yusalluna ala nabi. When I say I want to pray, I say Ana asalli. You enter to salli. So how did how did praying become blessing, according mm -hmm. to you? Because Allah, if Allah was the best communicator on this world, he should have said, if he meant blessing, he should have said, Allah wal malaika yu barikuna nabi. But here comes the problem when, when they say, Allah wal, wal malaika yu barikuna. Since when angels bless anyone? I thought all this time that only God is worthy to bless people. So either way, either way, you, your, your prophet busted himself when he fabricated this ayah. It, it is saying yusalluna. Yusalluna has only one meaning. It means praying. So we can tap dance around this whole wor uh, word. It's still praying means praying. Yubariku means blessing. It doesn't mean anything else. If Allah was the best communicator, he should have said and backed himself up because he claims that the Quran is the perfect explained book. If Allah wanted to be perfect in his explanation when he sent down the so-called divine revelation to Muhammad, he should have said, Allah wal malaika yubariku nabi. Why did he say yusallu? So here we can see that Muhammad simply busted himself and we can conclude that he's nothing but a fake prophet. Your mic. Okay, now I have a question for you. Now in the Arabic language, are there words which are considered, um, which are called in English, homographs? Are you are you uh, familiar with what a homograph is? Please continue. I'm listening. Okay, a homograph is a word that is written the same, but is has a different meaning and can be pronounced differently. So, is in the Arabic language, are there any words that are written the same? but have different meaning even though there's written no no the meaning out. the meaning is praying <laughs> no, 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 it no, is no. word of praying no, no. okay it doesn't mean okay. dancing Dan okay. allah, allah and, the, and the angels are not dancing they let's, are praying let's say you're right about you saluna i'm asking you as an arab speaker you are a fluent arab speaker which which i'm told are there any words in the Arabic language that you speak today fluently? Are there any words that are written the same but have different meanings? Yes, a word can have different meanings, but here salat, the only meaning for salah or you salli is praying. It doesn't mean jumping uh, out uh, of uh, on top of the mountain uh, because uh, Muhammad wanted to commit suicide right but that doesn't mean that it means praying praying is praying blessing is blessing it doesn't mean anything else <laughs> you can you can we can talk hours about this praying is praying that's it now now i i i beg to differ because i've heard arabic speakers actually speak on this term i am i am the arabic speaker arabic. here what are you talking about <laughs> as i shared with Hatun and, and our colleagues uh the word thumma oh my god with dama with meme with a shadda and a fata what does uh, the word thumma lord, lord of mercy <laughs> okay yeah i think i think we kind of um no. Going a little bit in circles now, um, guys. Yeah, guys, yeah. do we do do we really need to? No. Uh, guys, guys, just <laughs> well, I, I will give you. I'll give you two. Um, let's let's use because the and that's why I asked the brother, uh, wh whoever the gentleman was that just left the Arab speaking gentleman. What does Muhammad mean in Arabic? He clearly said the praised one. Praised. P R A I S E D praised yeah what which is a divine which is a divine title my friend let me let me continue and and muhammad is used four four times i believe in the quran four times so the word is in the, the name is in the quran which means praised one okay that's what that means now it comes from the root word hamd which like alhamdulillah 
praise be to Allah. Yeah, you said it correctly. Alhamdulillah. Only Allah should be worthy to be praised. But he, Muhammad, took the divine title and he made himself equal to Allah. Thank you. Excuse me, sorry. I've been saying, now you asked me, Rashid, just a moment. Let me finish my answer out. Rashid, just a moment. Just a moment. Guys, Christian, and I'm trying to I'm, nice. I'm giving you okay. one minute okay. to just respond and make your point. And then I'll take over from that, okay? Okay. You've got uh, one minute. Okay, thank you. Uh, the thing is, uh, this guy doesn't understand that Muhammad was not his true name. Muhammad, his name was Qatham. Muhammad simply took the divine title to make himself equal to Allah. Because in the Quran, you can also see obey Muhammad and obey Allah. That's also shirk. You cannot uh, obey Allah and put the same name. But just a second, let me let me let me finish, please. Be, respe okay. be respectful. Let me finish, guys. Rashid, Rashid, I am afraid I'm gonna mute you because we need to give Rob one minute to. I'm gonna give I'm Rob. I, I apologize. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. That's I'm sorry. Fine. That's fine. Fine. I'm, I'm sorry. gonna give Rob. I'm sorry. Like your one minute was like I'm gonna give you forty seconds, Rob Christian. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank 40 you. Forty seconds. Yeah. Okay. Give him, give him let me let me let me please finish, my friend. Be respectful. Yeah. Let me finish. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Muhammad, his true name is Qatham ibn Kilab. That's his true name. Qatham was his real name. Muhammad simply took the divine title, which means the praised one. He made himself equal to Allah because only Allah is worthy to get hamd. But here we see that Muhammad, his name Muhammad, means the praised one. So when you're going to take a divine title like this fake prophet of yours, that means he's making himself equal uh, to Allah. And the Sahaba worshipped him. Uh, uh, Oh, Abu Bakr wanted to show, uh, worship Muhammad. Omar wanted to worship Muhammad. I made a video today about it, guys. Watch it. See for yourself how Muslims love to worship Muhammad. They even put his saliva, his urine, his sweat on, on his faces. Mm. Muhammad loved to be worshipped. You can tap dance around it. You Muslims are nothing but pagans. You love to worship Muhammad besides Allah. Thank you very much and God bless you. And I hope... The, the only true God of the Bible will open up your eyes. Thank, thank you, Rob Christian.